evening, everybody. Thank you. Welcome. The, so first, I promise tonight will be nothing but inspiration. I also promise, since we are in New York and we all have short attention spans, that tonight will flow quickly. <laughs> um, as I said in the video, we are in a country divided again. We are in a moment in our country, not unlike 1972, when this organization was founded, where it is on us to find ways to come together, to find ways to recreate empathy, compassion, understanding of difference. It is also on us to arm ourselves and the young people around us with skills those soft skills, the skills of empathy and compassion and understanding of difference, and the hard skills, communication, project management, how to take an idea and make it a reality. And all of those things around us today are missing. I've been doing this now for five and a half years. When I agreed to take this job, I agreed to do it for six months, <laughs> maybe nine. And the whole idea is that I would figure out what was the most incredible about us, which we knew, which was about recognizing, recognizing greatness and excellence and use that power of recognition as a mechanism to inspire more greatness, to inspire the individual who's doing the hard work of service for others, to say, yes, I can do more, and to inspire the recipient of the story to say, I should do something too. I should help them or I should do something that matters to me. But what was unclear five and a half years ago was the need, the, the, the power of service itself, which was at the heart of this organization for 42 years. Service is one of the most important things that we all need to embrace and multiply today. It is one of the most powerful solutions to all of the things that we know ails us. Service is community, it connects, it offers those skills that I'm talking about. Um, as the video said, right, we've now trained 30,000 empathetic leaders and change makers under the age of 20 over the last decade, 6,500 last year. And in this room, there are some exceptional young people from New York City and New Jersey who I'd like to stand. Where are you? You're being shy, please stand up. And then I'm going to tell you a really quick story, actually, about some young people who couldn't be here tonight, um, who are part of our program in New Jersey and have been for a number of years, who are part of a uh, Muslim school. And they, uh, they're all about helping the homeless in their community. And one of the reasons they're not here tonight has to do with this malaise we find ourselves in, which is that the people in their community don't want their help because they're Muslim. And these young people, instead of quitting and going home, are right now hard at work trying to figure out how to fix that, how to fix how their neighbors and the most in need in their community will embrace them and accept their help. That is what we all need to do. And that is what we do here at Multiplying Good. We rebranded because we know that we are at this unbelievably seminal time in the country we're giving out Jefferson Awards and recognizing people for excellence and service is essential to what we do. But at the same time, embracing that power of service to others is quintessential to how we fix the malaise that we find ourselves in. So thank you all for being here tonight, for helping me to recognize and celebrate the most exceptional people who are here, and to take a look around and celebrate each other. Um, so welcome, thank you, and thank you for helping us multiply good and channel the power of service to others. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.